What's going on? It's Kev Obato, and I'm back with the crazy Botticera video. In today's video, let me show you how I'm using cloud storage and playing my games off of cloud storage in Botticera. This isn't a how-to video, not yet. This is just me showing off something crazy that I managed to pull off with the help of some tools from the BUA and a couple other things. So first things first, one of the big things that I'm using is our clone. So very quickly, I'm gonna show you all of the supported providers right here. So if you've got any cloud storage with any of these companies, you got Dropbox there, you got one feature up there, Dropbox, FTP, so that's cool, GoFile, Google Drive, of course. You've got tons, iCloud, you can use it with iCloud, that's crazy. So there's just so many options. Microsoft OneDrive. Basically, if you can save it on the cloud, then you can connect it to our clone and use it as storage on your Botticera device. Now, warning, this is extremely experimental. I've literally just been messing around with this all on my own. So like I said, this isn't a how-to. This is just me showing you, hey, using our clone and another add-on from the BUA, which I'll show you shortly, you can use your cloud storage. So let's go back here and show you. First of all, as you can see, we've got Flatpak GBA N64 port Steam Windows. And as you can see, Flatpak GBA N64 ports Steam and Windows. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Yeah, I could just do that myself and make it seem like this is active. But no, what I'll do is I'll add a game into here right now. First thing I gotta do, since I've already got GBA, let's go GBA. And we will just pick a random Pokemon game. All right, so we've already got Ruby on our system. So let's open up GBA. We've got Pokemon Ruby. Let's add Pokemon Sapphire. All right, so it finished uploading. And now when I go into here, there's no cuts. There's been no cuts. Now when I go here, oh Jesus, did not mean to do that. That was me opening the games list. When I go here, boom, now I've got Sapphire. So to even take it up a notch, we'll go back, close window, do a games list refresh. And now you can see, there is my Pokemon Sapphire. Now what I'll do just to seal the deal is, let me make this a little bigger so you can see. I'll go in here and scrape this, just like I did the other game. Oh, here, my bad. I'll go in here and scrape this, just like I did the other game. Scrape. Now in here, See, we've got only images for Ruby. All right, so there it is. Let's go ahead and press enter. Now we're downloading the image. We're gonna download the marquee and we're done. Now watch, five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, <laughs> there it is. All right, so as you can see, it popped up in real time. Ah, there's the other one. So there you go. They popped up in real time. So, and there's another one. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, they popped up in real time. Now we'll go in here, Game Boy Advance, and we will launch the game. Now again, just so you can under fully understand, this game is running from here. It's running from here. It's not on my system. Well, I mean, I guess technically it is, but it's being streamed straight from the cloud. And as you can see, I can start a new game, but I won't because I wanna show you one other thing. So if you wanna experiment with this on your own 
and I, like I said, I have to work on making a video for this. I don't have one right now. I don't even really have plans on when it'll be out, at least a couple days. But if you wanna mess with this on your own, you can go into the BUA. Future Editor Kev here. I found out you don't even need the BUA to install our clone on your device. You can type the command that I leave on the screen now and you can install our clone that way. Now, if you've already got the BUA, you might as well use SOAR, but yeah, just another way to install our clone and get to messing around with your Botticera system. Also, shout out to this guy for being the one to give me the idea to try this in the first place. If you don't have the BUA, then you're just already a couple steps behind. You're gonna have to catch up with one of my previous BUA videos. But if you wanna mess around with this on your own, you've gotta open the BUA. You can go into developer tools, and you will install SOAR. SOAR is going to be accessible via the terminal. So just very quickly, I don't want this video to be too long because I'm not actually helping anybody out with this. So at least not yet. So I don't want to make this video too long. But in X term, you've got SOAR. So you've got a bunch of options for SOAR. And in here, you would just go SOAR add our clone. And then that would install our clone. From there, you're probably gonna wanna check out some online guides because again, I'm not quite ready to make a video. There's gonna be some tweaks and stuff that I need to do and probably I'm gonna need some help from Notorious Fox to get it done. But as I showed you, it does work. And just as a final showing that it does work, let's go here, Game Boy Advance. Now you see I've got these two games. Now when I go in here, and let's say we get, we're gonna delete this, move this to trash. All right, that was moved to trash. Now watch this. When I do an update games list, this is all happening in real time. Why is the game still there? Oh no, why is the game still there? It shouldn't still be there. Or is it because I didn't fully do it? Okay, not sure why. This is still working. It shouldn't be, I deleted it. Okay, yeah, so it's not working, but it's still on the games list, I reckon. Did I not update games list, motherfucker? Okay, <laughs> and there it goes. I guess it just took a second. But as you can see, this most of this video will be unedited. I don't want people to think that I'm faking this or anything like that, because this is legit. I was just as surprised as you might be, or if you're someone who's really smart and you already know about all this, well, good for you. You should have told me sooner. Anyways, that's going to wrap up today's quick video. Let me know in the comments below. Are you interested in using your cloud storage as your primary storage for your Botticera machine? All right. I'll catch you in the next video.